and blockchain there's lot both of them are move in ha hand in hand web3 is uh, leveraging blockchain as the backbone for the entire decentralized uh, um, you know transactions so the objective of web3 is today everything is controlled by large corporate world and uh, in the internet uh, um, area so what uh, web3 is trying is decentralize lot of these contents into holding by you know smaller groups and uh, not uh, you know uh, um, controlled by only a few large corporates which can free the entire thing so web 1 was like you know read web 2 was read and write web 3 is going to be read write and own that is what you know most of the creators will own their content in the internet and operate and that will be backed by blockchain as traditional companies move to web 3 there will be a lot of blockchain adoption by several companies and blockchain is coming into mainstream adoption there is quite a lot of adoption opening wherever there is a need for trust security and speed and cost reduction in uh, bfsi and all other uh, industries as well this will gain this will really improve overall adoption of uh, uh, blockchain cbdc's is gaining quite a lot of action 2022 itself saw a lot of action 23 is going to be really a game changer because in 23 already you would have seen rbi launching you know wholesale and retail uh, cbdc's in addition to that what is happening is uh, swift is testing with capgemini or already it has done a pilot and tested global interoperability of cbdc's when cbdc's become globally interoperable there will be a lot of international payments, international transactions that will happen through CBDC, which will change the way the entire thing will work. There will be a lot of inclusive finance use cases. There will be quite a lot of, uh, you know, uh, 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 entire difficulty. International payments is several billions of amount, and it will reduce the cost as well as increase the speed. The other part, I already touched it a bit, asset tokenization. In addition to NFT tokenization, there is going to be a lot of tokenization in blockchain for various securities, and it is going to become completely digital, and it will be handled with you know, uh, blockchain-based exchanges, which will change the game for asset trading. What I mean is several types of assets. Oh.